Pericardial Effusion, Wikipedia Article Audio Pericardial effusion is an abnormal accumulation of fluid in the pericardial cavity. Because of the limited amount of space in the pericardial cavity, fluid accumulation leads to an increased intrapericardial pressure which can negatively affect heart function. A pericardial effusion with enough pressure to adversely affect heart function is called cardiac tamponade. Pericardial effusion usually results from a disturbed equilibrium between the production and reabsorption of pericardial fluid, or from a structural abnormality that allows fluid to enter the pericardial cavity. Signs and Symptoms Normal levels of pericardial fluid are from 15 to 50 ml. Chest pain or pressure are common symptoms. A small effusion may be asymptomatic. Larger effusions may cause cardiac tamponade, a life-threatening complication. Signs of impending tamponade include dyspnea, low blood pressure, and distant heart sounds. Causes the so-called water bottle heart is a radiographic sign of pericardial effusion, in which the cardiopericardial silhouette is enlarged and assumes the shape of a flask or water bottle. Diagnosis It can be associated with dullness to percussion over the left subscapular area due to compression of the left lung base. This phenomenon is known as Ewitt's sign. Treatment it may be. The most common causes of pericardial effusion have changed over time and vary depending on geography and the population in question. When pericardial effusion is suspected, echocardiography usually confirms the diagnosis and allows assessment for signs of hemodynamic instability. Cross-sectional imaging with computed tomography can help to localize and quantify or assess for pericardial pathology. A CT scan image showing a pericardial effusion. A very large hemorrhagic pericardial effusion due to malignancy as seen on ultrasound. Closed arrow, the heart, open arrow, the effusion. Pericardial effusion due to malignancy. Note bulbous heart and primary lung cancer in right upper lobe. An ECG showing electrical alternance in a person with a pericardial effusion. A pericardial effusion due to pericarditis. Loculated pericardial effusion. Treatment depends on the underlying cause and the severity of the heart impairment. Pericardial effusion due to a viral infection usually goes away within a few weeks without the treatment. Some pericardial effusions remain small and never need treatment. If the pericardial effusion is due to a condition such as lupus, treatment with anti-inflammatory medications may help. If the effusion is compromising heart function and causing cardiac tamponade, it will need to be drained most commonly by a needle inserted through the chest wall and into the pericardial space called pericardiocentesis. A drainage tube is often left in place for several days. In some cases, surgical drainage may be required by cutting through the pericardium creating a pericardial window. Transitative, exudative, hemorrhagic, malignant Pericardial Disease Cleveland Clinic Online Medical Reference